Hello you and welcome to another Winston Media travel vlog. Today I'm in the little suburb of Leopoldplatz and we're going to head to Central. So as you can see there is a market behind me, we've got the buses constantly running past so it's a really busy part of the city and I'm going to be jumping on the sub line which is the U B H F Leopold Platz and I'm going to head down to Central. So join me on this travel vlog. There's no specific thing that I'll be doing today. I'll be simply heading into town, trying to engage with locals, just seeing what's happening inside the Central and also probably getting myself some, some food as well. So probably all chances being I'll be doing a food review, but there's no actual plan today. It's Sunday afternoon. And guys, if you do enjoy Winston Media content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Really trying to build it up. Three. 187 and building so we're going to jump on the train and see what berlin has to offer here on this sunday morning take care out there hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you soon okay here we're at leopold platz train station and i'm heading to unter den linden which is pretty much central so we're going from U6 to U5. So we'll see what's happening in Central Unter den Linden. Okay, on the subway now, on the way to Unter den Linden. So we'll see how we go, but they're on the on the truck train now, pretty packed for a Sunday morning. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see, but uh, away we go. Ed, can I have an autograph? Oh no, wait, it's only a, oh wait, we're about at two sides. Okay, now we've hit central here in Berlin and I'm at the famous Brandenburger Tor which in 1933 I'm going to flip the camera around this was the symbol of power when the Nazis took over in 1933 and it was also the location for the opening of the 1936 Berlin Games so pretty impressive there and as you can see it's a huge tourist destination and it's quite packed this square so Bergen uh, Bergen Borough Tor means essentially square. So there's the gates, and we're going to keep exploring further down this direction. Und immer doch berühmt. Carola Doch, man kennt dich, eine nimmermüde Kämpferin für Frieden, Freiheit und Wahrhaftigkeit. Eine Ärztin. Danke, dass ich euch haben darf. Danke, dass ihr beide hier seid. Simon, komm auf die Bühne. Du singst von unten. Auch gut. Wunderbar. Einmal ganz kurz eine technische Lösung. We are currently at the site of the memorial of the murdered Jews of Europe and this site opened in on the 25th of June 1999 after long and drawn out debate the German Bundestag finally passed a resolution to build a memorial of the murdered Jews of Europe based on the design of the New York architect Peter Eisenman on the 10th of May 2005 the Holocaust Memorial compromising of more than 2700 stalai and a subterranean information center was officially opened to the public. The exhibition provides information about the Holocaust and the authentic sites of the remembrance. Moreover, it's, it honors the up to 6 million Jewish victims from throughout Europe. So a bit of history, and this is the memorial right here. So we'll go through a walk. And when you think of, of numbers, and you think about the controversial coronavirus at the moment, it's insignificant to, compared to what happened during World War II. 
to the Jews. So got to pay our respects here. So we're walking through here, the memorial of the Jews, and it's an architectural piece. So essentially, it's like a maze. Uh, you walk through here, and you can go left, and it just keeps on going, 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 going. And then you might go right. It keeps going, 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 going. So it's quite interesting to be here. And I actually went to a concentration camp uh, near near Tischenreuth in northeast Germany, and that was uh, yeah pretty pretty uh, emotional to go there, considering they show raw footage of what happened um, during those times between 1939 and 1945. Um, and the one I went to was virtually nothing in comparison to what was Auschwitz, where approximately 3 million people, Jews, got murdered. Um, but as you can see, it's a great architecture piece, and um, yeah, definitely. A place to remember all those who had fallen under the SS or the Third Reich under the power of Hitler, which was, um, yeah, I suppose, a monumental event that happened in history and hopefully history never does repeat itself again. Okay, so it looks like this video is turning into a little bit of a history lesson today. So I've just come across the Berlin Wall, literally the Berlin Wall. We all know it fell in 1989 and I'm going to flip the camera around and here is a part of the Berlin Wall. You just think how crazy it was back in those times. East and West Germany separated by one wall. There was literally families who were one side of East and then one side of West Germany. And, and here it is in the real life. So officially, this is me touching the Berlin Wall for the first time. Ooh, a little bit sticky there, plenty of chewy gum on there. But yeah, so we're just randomly filming here in Berlin today. But there's the remnants of the Berlin Wall. Hello. <laughs> hey. Woo. <laughs> And there's beers and wines and bratwurst and pretzels all around town. Oh my god. Look at that. That's one feeding and barbecue. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. My name is Amelie. Amelie, and uh, today is a German holiday. Yes, today is a German holiday. So explain to the audience, well, what are we dealing yeah. with today as we order this drink? All right. So we have the reunion okay. of Germany because like you see it was separated for a really long time. East and West Germany, I understand, yes? Yes, <laughs> that's it. Thank you very much. And basically we are celebrating that we are a reunion mm -hmm. and we have like a whole um system now okay and we are one country and that's a thing that we celebrate okay right and it's the 75th uh i read somewhere 75th anniversary of something as well um it might be yes it might be okay I'm not that educated about that but okay yes. yeah. and hello. hello could i get a pilsner please one uh just one please thank you yeah. thank you thank you Last bring the bit of vida, yeah? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> hey. And today is a holiday called German Unity Day. And essentially it's about um, the fall of the 
Berlin Wall, which happened in 1989, established in 1961, which kept East and West Germany apart. And this is basically a celebration of uh, multiculturalism and basically uh, the segregation which was East and West Germany into one as a combined entity. And I'll flip the camera around. You can see people are enjoying uh, some Brathurst drinks. Uh, there's some pretzels. There's even a museum in there. Over there they've got like a kids play area. And people, are, I suppose, uh, as you see with the uh, blue and white balloons, um, are just celebrating this day which brings uh, East and West Germany together and unity. And we've got, um, <laughs> hello over there. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, day here in Berlin and everyone's celebrating this uh, day which is multiculturalism and uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall which happened in 1989. So that's a little bit of a history lesson here and I've had a couple of drinks and I'm enjoying the festivities. Everyone's friendly, everyone's happy and uh, I hope you're enjoying this travel vlog. Hello, could I please get a Carlsberg? One, yeah. Yes, on tap, yep, please. Thank you. Thank you, Shen. Thank you. Yeah, me. Uh, yep, the B1. And I'll get uh, mustard and, and ketchup. Wow, look at that. Good man, good man. Thank you, Shin. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I don't know what this is called, but this is a traditional German snag. Right, you can see it's cooking in the background here. So I'm going to give this a bite and just see what it's all about. And see if I enjoy it. Mm. Tell you what, usually I don't like snags, but this snag is one juicy, tender German snag. Sensational. Here at Uni Unity Day here in Berlin, washing it down with a Carlsberg uh, Erpils, which is basically a, a Pilsner. And you get that blend of a real meaty Pilsner. Uh, type of cuisine. All in all, we'll give it four star. Cheers. What's the record? So this caps off the travel vlog for Sunday, the 3rd of August, 2021. We've uh, seen plenty of central Berlin. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And once again, if you do enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button on the top right-hand corner of the YouTube page. It means the absolute world to me as I chase 400 subscribers and beyond. 
Stay tuned for the next trouble vlog and I'll see you guys soon on the other side. Take care.